Hello everyone all the way around the world. I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina, your trusted Toyota resource. First of all, two things. Number one, write down in the comment section where you're watching this video from all around the world. Let's see how many different cities, states, countries we can represent. Next thing, comparing trim levels of the vehicles. It takes a lot of work, but I'm thrilled to do it for you. If you find it in your heart to watch some of the advertisements or click them all the way through, that would be a huge help to me. That's how I get rewarded from YouTube. So thank you very much. We're comparing all the trim levels of the 2019 Toyota Highlander. And the reason why we're doing this is because, let's say you know you want a Highlander or a 4Runner or a Camry. What do you do from that point on? How do you know which one you want? What options? What pricing? What's the best value for you? So 2019, we all know that the redesigned 2020 Highlander is coming out in just a month or two, and that'll be great but it's a great time to get a 2019. Or maybe you're watching this video two years from now and you're looking to see which pre-owned 2019 is best for you. Let's meet the six friends I brought today. There should be seven. This is the LE V6. LE comes in V6, or imagine there's an identical four cylinder next to it. This is Ooh La La Rouge, LE Plus in shoreline blue. The SE, this is in midnight black metallic. The very popular trim level XLE, this is pre-dawn gray mica. My friend and yours, the Limited, and this is an Illumina Jade. And then the Limited Platinum, this is in Toasted Walnut. What's up? We're gonna compare the front ends first. This is the LE V6, the LE four cylinder is the same, it's identical. This is the one trim level that does not have fog lights. So if you see this black opening right here, then you'll know, boom, it's an LE. Now let's talk about what they all down the line have in common. You'll see this. They're all gonna have the same ground clearance, eight inches. They all have Toyota Safety Sense, the original, not 2.0. So it has pre-collision system with pedestrian detection during the daytime, dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, and then automatic high beams. Notice on this LE here, it has the brushed silver slatted grill looks classy it's nice it's pleasant it's a good front end that sounded really weird this is the le plus it's going to be identical in the front to the le except for this is the start of fog lights for everything and beyond also engine performance this is where you can get the feature engine start and stop so standard that's going to be on le plus and above what that means is it's an A symbol with a circle, almost looks like Avengers symbol, go Thor. And then what it does is at a traffic light or a stop sign, you stop and then it'll shut the engine off so it'll feel like you stalled it. It's just off, you're conserving fuel. The downside is if you hit the accelerator just right, you feel a little nudge as you go. This is the SE, the Sport Edition. It's gonna have sport tuned suspension, but it has projector beam headlights, LED daytime running lights, and it has LED black fog lights here. It also has gloss black slats as opposed to the brushed metal look. Everything about it is designed to be sporty. So what do you think about this one versus the other ones so far? The XLE level is gonna be similar to the LE Plus in that it has the brushed metal slats, projector headlights, daytime running lights, fog lights. Somebody would choose an XLE if you're somebody who wants standard leather seats, heated seats, navigation system, you would gravitate toward this one here. People associate the word limited in vehicles with luxury and style and class. It has chrome slatted horizontal grille here. It's got projector beam headlights and then it's got LED daytime running lights, LED fog lights. It's luxury, again, like I said. And then it's got rear parking sonar. You will not see parking sonar in the front. That's for our friend next. Limited Platinum builds on the successes of Limited over there. It's got bird's eye view camera. You'll see the camera here. Also two cameras under the side mirrors. And then one is the traditional backup camera and that generates a bird's eye view in your display screen. So you can see going backward, forward, things like that. It also has front and rear parking sonar. So that really helps you when you're trying to park. Holla! Aesthetically speaking, most people really like the profile and the look overall of the Highlander. It's sleek, it's flowing, it's got really nice lines on it. The coefficient of drag on all of the vehicles is either 0.33 
or 0.44 for an SUV, it cuts through the air pretty well to give you good efficiency. So they're all gonna have the black over fenders that you see here. This comes with 18 inch gunmetal alloy wheels. You see they're gonna be the same ones on the LE Plus as well. This comes with the traditional key, not a smart key, has turn signal indicators here, does not have blind spot monitor. It does have folding power mirrors, not power folding, but folding and power mirrors. Comes with disc brakes in the front and the back. LE Plus has the same profile specifications as the LE, but I really just wanted to show off what this looks like in shoreline blue. It has the 18 inch alloy wheels, turn signal indicators here. It also has the traditional key with the beep beep. Does not have smart key where you just walk up to it and it unlocks, unlocks, not unlocks, or locks. And then it's got disc brakes in the front and the back. Turn it out. The other thing LE Plus has standard blind spot monitor in the side view mirror. It shows up in an amber orange color and then it's got rear cross traffic alert in the back so it tells you in a parking lot when you're backing up if somebody's coming from behind you either person or vehicle now the se this is one i'm really happy to show off here it's really known for the prominent wheels check those out they're 19 inch gloss black multi-spoke alloy wheels they are brilliant and it carries with it a personification of sportiness ruggedness performance it also has standard blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert. It does have smart key, just like that, where it unlocks and locks. So yeah, that's an upgrade over the LE Plus. What do you all think about the XLE? This has 18 inch, and I just like the sound of it, turbine look alloy wheels here. And then it's got blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, smart key auto open Woo. the xle that's my model right there baby this is the limited and the reason why i'm showing you this angle here is check out these 19 inch bright chrome tech alloy wheels here but what we're going to do is compare that to the platinum over there that has these smoke dark chrome tech wheels so just kind of compare the two of those bright unlimited darker on platinum that's one way as a salesperson you can look really smart like a genius and you say that's a limited that is the platinum cheat sheets this has power folding mirrors with turn signal indicators blind spot monitor also comes with puddle lights too and then just like the xle it's going to have chrome roof rails you'll see that in the platinum also plain roof up your highlanders this is amazing this is the limited platinum it's got 19 inch dark chrome tech alloy wheels hey scotty what's up dude so Check this out here. These ones have mud guards on it. The Limited did also. You can go back and see that. My pitch for mud guards, they protect the vehicle, the underside, so that rock, gravel, tar that you see on roads, it's not gonna get all over the bottom part of your vehicle. You spend so much money, why not protect it? Plus they look good and you could get them installed for less than $200. We do it here at the dealership. These were done at the factory, but mud guards on every vehicle as long as it fits your budget. Thought I would show you Part of the bird's eye view camera, puddle lights, limited platinum. Also has blind spot monitor. Oh, that's cool. Plain. The back parts of the vehicles, although very important, there are very few differences when you get from the entry level all the way to the top line. I'll just point out the differences so we can do this efficiently. One consideration whether you get a four cylinder or a six cylinder could be with the towing capacity. If it's a four cylinder, then you can have 1500 pounds tow capacity. V6, it bumps up immediately to 5000 pound tow capacity. It has a manually operated back hatch. It also does not have glass that pops up. I'll show you that on the next one here. It has a backup camera. Yeah. LE Plus has 5,000 pound tow capacity because it's a V6. Trivia, if it's a Highlander hybrid, it's gonna have 3,500 pounds. Aha, 3,500 pound tow capacity. This is the level though, where you can get pop-up glass. So the top half opens. That way when you're grocery shopping or Black Friday shopping, you can just pop them in, go to the next door, boom, you're set. It also has a power back hatch everything this level and above. 
Also, as I'm pointing out sort of the, the back part here, and you can see what it's like with one of the seats down, one of the seats up in the middle row, but this is just no outline, the bezel here. Down there, you'll see they're in chrome. Yeah. This is the SE model. Also has the pop-up glass. Zip back hatch. Backup camera right here, like they all do. This rear bumper protector, it's an option that you can get either at the factory level or the dealership level. I should say the port level, not the factory level. But it looks nice, it looks sharp, but it also protects when you load luggage in it just scratch this up if anything nothing else this is what it looks like with the seats up seats down there's nothing different on the xle that i can show you so we'll do random trivia xle technically stands for executive luxury edition i call it extra luxury edition this is the limited and like i said it's got a chrome surround here the bezel for shizzle, don't change the dizzle, turn it up a little. I got a Highlander full of fine dime bristles. It also has rear parking sonar that you can see along here. Remember, if you get the limited platinum, that's going to have front and rear parking sonar. Limited platinum here, just so you know, this is the all wheel drive. You can get this in the front wheel drive or the rear wheel drive. It has the chrome surround parking sensors in the front and the back. Um, what do you think of the video so far? I'm loving it. Highlander second row can come, depending on the trim level, with second row bench seat across, which fits three very comfortably. Good headroom, good leg room, good shoulder room, good hip room. Anything you need to do the chicken dance or the wobble while you're driving. Also, you can get a second row captain's chairs configuration where it has a fold up, fold down, tray table, armrest, whatever you want to call it, that has two different cup holders in it. It's also a good walkway to the third row. Now the third row configuration, that's really difficult to show on video because I'd like to be in it. You can have this room here, this room, or this room. So if you have a bench that can fit eight across, if you have captain's chairs that can fit seven across. You can also, we'll use this one here, you can lower the seat. You can also slide this forward and backward to give yourself more or less leg room in the third row. And let's show the third row so that you can see. You can just configure it how you want to. We're gonna look at the interiors, but first I gotta see that plane. This is the LE model, it's gonna have black interior. It has rear air vents, it also has double USB ports in the back. Everyone wants to know the interior of a vehicle, why wouldn't you? You spend more time inside the vehicle than you're looking at your paint color on the outside. Not that that's not important. All right, let's keep going. Road trip. We're going for the LE Plus next, and then the SE. This is the ash interior with a bench seat. Spoiler alert, I am not gonna be showing you the beige interior. I don't have that. We probably have it, I just don't have it. The screen size is gonna be anywhere between six inches, 6.1 inches and eight inch screen. And look inside the SE. This is gonna have the black seating with red contrast stitching. Also comes with captain's chairs. Leather wrap steering wheel. Are you an SE person? An SE family? SE in the house. This is XLE. This has your choice of seven or eight passengers so you can get a bench or you can get captain's chairs, ash interior. 
This reminds me of my Detroit Lions. Go Lions, even though they suck every year. This is ash interior with blue contrast stitching. When you get up to the limited, like you see here, saddle tan interior. See the wood grain accents? Plain. Can have bench seat or captain's chairs. This is the millionth plane that's come by, but that's okay, we love them. That's one reason why it's so easy to do business at my dealership, because people fly in, I pick them up, they drive their new vehicles home. Super simple. Let's look at the Limited Platinum. This is saddle tan interior as well. Limited Platinum only comes with captain's chairs, okay? So you have to get the two seating option in the middle row. The LE, whether it's a four or a six cylinder, it's gonna be equipped interior features wise the same. It has two one touch windows, two where you hold it down. They all come with automatic high beams, remember. Has the traditional composite steering wheel, a 4.2 inch multi-information display that shows you different pieces of information about your vehicle just like that some other features on all of the highlanders the smart shelf storage i like this because you can pop this piece out here and run your cords put your cell phone here run your cords down and then charge them below three in the front two in the back short in the top party in the back just like a mullet but anyway this opens up that mullet joke wasn't funny by the way I know that now. This does not have digital temperature controls, although it opens like this, and it has the traditional audio on it, not Audio Plus or premium audio. It's a 6.1 inch touchscreen, AM, FM, Bluetooth, streaming, all that jazz. The LE is also the level, the one level that does not have a power driver's seat, but it does have a pump so you can raise your seat up, pump it down, and this is for the back of the seat as well. When you get the LE Plus, remember, you get the pop-up hatch in the back, the power tailgate, power adjustable driver's seat. This is a combination of Softex and sport fabric seating. It has leather wrapped steering wheel on it. Remember, this is the engine start and stop. So you push this and it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. I'll show you that right here. That's what it looks like on your screen when it's off, when it's on. So the default is to be on, just keep that in mind. Then it has Audio Plus upgrade, so it has an eight inch touch screen on it, satellite radio, Sirius XM, it's got HD radio, it does not have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa, just so you know that's not on the 19s. XLE comes with many different upgrades here, so we're gonna get right to it here. First of all, it has a standard 120 volt outlet plug in here so people can, especially in the back seat, plug in your electronic devices, things like that. It also has the sunshade in the back windows so that the sun won't blind children, especially when they can't help getting the sun in their eyes. Ugh. Horrific. This one has the premium audio, so it has integrated navigation. It does have a map card, so it's not dynamic. It doesn't come from the cloud. It comes from a map card that you can renew. It has driver easy speak that amplifies your voice into the back row so that people can hear you without you having to yell. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Comes standard with a sunroof on it. Heated seats. Here's the SE interior, and I did want to point out that it's got the climate control, just like everything LA Plus and above. It does have the AC plug-in right there. This also has the premium audio. If you notice, it's got a power passenger seat as well, which I like. So it's got the integrated navigation system, auto dimming rear view mirror, it's also got the metallic pattern 
accent trim here kind of all around so it gives you that whole sporty feel look at those leather seats there the trim I like it it's cool the SE model also comes standard with power moonroof the limited here 12-way power seat four-way power passenger seat holla memory seats trivia question remember that's engine start and stop this has the upgraded JBL sound system on it so it's got premium audio with dynamic with integrated navigation not dynamic but it's got concert like performance because it's got JBL speakers all throughout the cabin of course it has the traditional moonroof we're going to be comparing that to the platinum in just a minute also you'll notice it's got heated and cooled seats yeah the limited platinum will start in the back row here it's got second row captain's chairs but they've got heated seats so you've got high low and off right like that so heated seats it's got the JBL sound system you can see JBL speakers right there very nice very nice it's also got the bird's eye view camera a heated steering wheel and then rain sensing wipers but it's also got this panoramic moonroof let's check that out that's fully opened with the shade open I'm gonna show you the bird's eye view camera You can see different perspectives of it. But it shows you if there's any obstruction around you that might interfere with you backing up, parking, things like that, so you don't clip a fender. Here's pricing information and specs on the LE V6. The four cylinder, I don't have it here, but that is $2,000 less than the V6, as you might expect. It's got really good safety features on it, safety ratings, the gas mileage, 20 in the city, 27 on the highway, averages to 23. Feel free to stop the video to look at the specs a little bit closer if you want to. These are some options that were added at the regional assembly point. By the way, everyone, please subscribe to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel for the latest how-to videos, review videos, breaking news videos. 35,000 for the LEV6 equipped this way. The four cylinder will be about two grand less. It's getting windier. LE Plus V6, made in Princeton, Indiana. Gas mileage 21 and 27. Here we go. Some options added to it regionally to kind of finish it off to make it your own. And then this one right here is going to be 38,000. 690 but again look at the factory msrp price before you equip it with the options that are on it that'll give you kind of more of a baseline i'm one with nature there's a leaf stem se 2127 notice some of the black accents here the black alloy wheels seating for seven has some options on it. Factory MSRP 40,940. And then this one here as equipped will be 43,289. Here's the ever popular XLE. I say this because people probably ask about the XLE more than any other different grade or trim level. 2127. Notice that the standard default on this one is seating for seven, second row captain's chairs, but you can get bench seat if you ask for it. Some options added to it. The XLE, this particular one, 42,000. This is the limited here. It starts at 42,630. I like that it's got a 12-way power adjustable seat with memory seats. That's always a popular one here. 
It's got heated and cooled seats. Some options on it. All right, there we go, 45,000. Let's look at our friend Limited Platinum here. This one's all wheel drive, so it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. It's 20 and 26 for gas mileage. Can look at some of the options here. The factory MSRP is 47.5. I think I went through that kind of fast, sorry. It's got some options on it, just like they all do. This is 49,859. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. The goal here is to inform you, to educate you, help you learn a little, but also to make it fun to look for cars. And I most importantly hope that this helps you and your family pick out which one's best for you should you decide to buy one. Please subscribe to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. Also, if you have it in your heart, watch an ad or two or click an ad, promise you that helps me. Feel free to go to my dealership Facebook page and like it, follow it, Fred Anderson Toyota. You can also like their YouTube channel. It's really good. Fred Anderson Toyota YouTube. Plane coming. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! We did it! Woo! Oh yeah, oh yeah, we did it, we did it. Hee <laughs> hee! I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo!